Hello, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to make a chocolate crepe cake. This is a recipe we saw online and thought it looked really neat, so we are going to give it a try. We're going to start by adding one and one third cups of flour and one half cup of cocoa powder and we'll sift that into our bowl. Next we'll add one tablespoon of sugar and a pinch of salt. And we're just going to whisk that all together. Now we're adding three eggs. We're just going to kind of get those eggs mixed in together a little bit before we add the next ingredient. Uh, now we're adding one cup of hot milk. Next, we're going to add 3 fourths of a cup of boiling water. Now we're going to add 1 fourth cup of honey. And we're going to set that aside, allow it to cool while we make the fit. We're going to add one package of cream cheese, half a cup of sour cream, and half a cup of powdered sugar. And we're just going to mix that all together. In a separate container, we're going to mix one cup of heavy cream with half a cup of powdered sugar. And we're just going to mix that together until it's got the consistency of whipped cream. And we're going to take that and add it back in with the sour cream and cream cheese that we've already mixed together. And uh, we're going to gently mix that together uh, instead of folding it. Just mix it on low. Now we're going to add in one tablespoon of honey. Now we're going back to our crepe batter and we're going to add one tablespoon of oil. Now one thing with that mixture that we just did, we were surprised at how smooth and creamy it is and it is absolutely delicious. Alright, so now we're going to make our crepes 
as you can see, we are not experts. We are still learning and practicing to make, improve our crepe making skills. Tossing it over a couple times, make sure both sides are well done. And here is our stack of crepes. And with the crepes, you do want to make sure they're cooked thoroughly. Uh, you don't want to overcook them so they're crispy. You just want to make sure that they're well cooked uh, for what we're going to be doing next. <clears throat> next, we're going to add in our filling mixture, that whipped cream. And we're just gonna fold it in half. And just add a little bit more. And then fold it in half a second time. Now we've got a few together. We're going to add some of our filling again. And now we're gonna roll them up. If you've ever rolled up a sleeping bag, this kind of reminded me of doing that. Now we have a few together, we're going to go ahead and add it to our, this is a spring form pan, so this is the base of it, and we're just going to keep adding layers to it now. If you're enjoying this video, please consider subscribing, or sharing this with a friend that you think would also enjoy this video. Remember, you can always leave a comment and let us know what you think and let us know if there's any recipes you'd like to see us make. All right, so now we're to our final layer. Now we're wrapping it in saran wrap, just to help it hold its shape, and also to help keep it off the sides of our swing form pan. All right, we're just going to fill in the spirals with some of the extra filling that we had. We're going to cover it and let it chill overnight. It's chilled, and now we're opening it up. We're gonna to just top it with a little bit of powdered sugar before we cut a nice big slice. As we know, this cake is gonna taste amazing. The pattern you see here, is what really caught our attention when we saw that online and why we really wanted to try to make this cake. This cake is delicious and I highly recommend taking some time and trying to make it yourself. Remember to like, share, subscribe. It really helps out a channel like ours. And 
Be safe, be kind, and know that you are appreciated.